Hi, I'm Susan, and today I want to answer the question, what the heck is polymer clay? Polymer clay is a plastic clay. It hardens at a very low temperature. You can make it in, you can harden it in your oven. You buy it pre-made. You must condition it because it is a plastic that's been sitting, and the plasticizers if they've been sitting a long time, need to be reunited with the clay. The more you work with it, the softer it can become and easier and more pliable to work with. What's nice about it, then it will re-harden back up and change its form so that it, it makes it easier to slice and apply to things. It's a very unique product. It's very fun for arts and crafts, and there's lots of cool things you can do with it. Most artists prefer Fimo, Cato, or Primo. They just seem to be the ones that are easier to work with. Some people like the souffle. It's a softer clay. If you find these too hard, you might like the so souffle. And yes, you can mix these. You can mix them all together. Some people will argue that it doesn't work. I've done it for years and it works just fine. Just cook it at the higher temperature or the median temperature when you when you add the two clays together. So this one is a 300 degree and this one is a 265 degree. So go for the median temperature and cook it and you'll be just fine. You don't have to bake it at the higher temperature or the lower temperature or just add more time and that will even it up. It's a colored clay. Some of them come with some glitter in them or you can add glitter as you've seen me do with my clays. They come already pre-colored. You can mix the colors together and make your own palette of colors. It doesn't matter. Whatever makes you happy, you can work with. But what can you do with these clays? Amazing stuff. You can create canes with them. And people say, what is a cane? A cane is basically a stick of clay. And you have basically rolled or flattened this clay to create this long tubular shape. And what's nice about it is you can slice it off just like that, and apply that design to other things. So it's it's something that you can decorate anything with. And these are just a few canes that I've created using all different techniques that I have videos that show you how. And there's lots of wonderful artists on YouTube that show how to make canes. And even Etsy has tutorials. Here is a box that I covered with canes. It's just simply an Altoids tin. And I just used some different canes to get this wonderful texture. And if you look at it sideways, you can see that it's got some thickness the way it's embossed. So there's lots of neat things. Now, do you have to be an artist to use polymer clay? No. This one is an Altoids tin just done with cookie cutters, little clay cutters really. And, or you can use fondant cutters, any type of cutters that cross over from the fondant cooking industry work beautifully with polymer clay, but you cannot use them with cooking or food again. Once you've used it with polymer clay, it must remain with polymer clay. So keep it as a craft item. And whatever you use, you can use over and over again. So this is simply an Altoids tin, makes a great little gift box or a stash box. Here's another one done with a, just a little fish cutter. And I've just run the clay through and added a little few rhinestones just to make it fun. Now, the other things you can create with polymer clay, the other things you can create with polymer clay are bracelets. This is just done on a bracelet form. And I've created three different styles and it just bends right over your wrist like a regular cuff. So it's very simple and very versatile to work with. And you can create something like these beads. I've created these simply using an extruder. I have a tutorial on that. And here is just a rhinestone pod. So you can add it to your beadwork, all sorts of things. Here's a beautiful brooch created just with polymer clay and some beadwork. And you can see how it completely transforms and looks like natural pearls rather than just polymer clay. So it can fool the eye. You can create so many cool things. Here's a Christy Friesen inspired piece. She loves to do dragons and she teaches a lot of classes. If you ever look up Christy Friesen online, you will see some of the most amazing things that she does. Great fantasy work. Here's a bead just using some scrap clay and creating a beautiful pendant piece. I've just overlaid it on some other clay with some paint, so you can use paints. I've added a rhinestone. You can add rhinestones to polymer clay. Here's a toggle clasp that an artist, Kathy Bingaman, created, and she likes to polish her clay. So she sands it down and polishes it to this beautiful shine, so it doesn't even look like it's polymer clay anymore. It has this 
wonderful shiny thing and that's the unique part of polymer clay is that you can shine it and you can finish it any way that you please. And here's another piece from Kathy Bingaman and she does these gorgeous faces that she puts in a resin drop in the center of her polymer clay. This is just covered with mica powder and on the other side she's finished it off with canes. Isn't that absolutely magnificent? Do you have to be an artist to use polymer clay? Absolutely not. This is just some simple clay colors that I've mixed together and put in a push mold. So you can create all sorts of cool things that you can use in other types of artwork. If you're a scrapbooker or you make cards, these are great embellishment pieces or even on a box. And here is a keychain from Karen Lewis, otherwise known as Clue. She does her own very natural looking organic pieces. Very cool and she's done the macrame work around it. Something so absolutely beautiful. You would never think this was just polymer clay. And this is an artist in Florida. I've lost her card. I don't know. Rem remember I bought it in Michigan actually. Um, she just picks up shell seashells from the beach and puts little frogs coming out of them. All of her pieces are shells with frogs. I just adore them. So your imagination is limitless. This is from a Russian artist. I don't know her name. She didn't put a card in the box, but it's quite beautiful. I found her work on Pinterest. If I can find any, I will link it below. She does one of a kind pieces made to order and you can see even the back is finished off so beautifully. And this is once again, just polymer clay. So it's very light. It looks like it would be a very heavy necklace, but it's actually not because polymer is a very light product. And here's a piece from our master artist, John Anderson. He does the most amazing polymer clay work I've ever seen. And this really shows what true artistry can be used with this product. He makes these simple little animals that are just amazing. As you can see, the different birds and things that are all in here and the designs that are into this turtle shell. And he even uses little glass eyes. And even on the back side, how beautifully they're done. Just the way he uses all the different canes in his work and he smooths them out so they look like glass. There's so much artistry in this product, it's amazing. And these are from a local artist in my area, Peggy Ward. These are Christmas ornaments she made, but I just love them so much. I leave them up in my studio all year. They're just created with different Skinner blends and textures, and they're so organic and unusual looking. And she just put them on Lucite so that they just, you have these beautiful leaves that are just organic and unusual. And I just think they're spectacular. And here's a pair of earrings from a wonderful artist, Kimberly Arden. She's in the Midwest and she creates these beautiful earrings and jewelry with bright colors that are really fabulous and amazing to see. If you ever go to an art fair in Ann Arbor, she's usually there. She always has wonderful pieces and she cre also created, I also have this covered pen from Kimberly Arden and it's all done with little fishes on it. And the nice thing is, is you can replace the ink inside of this so if it dies I've had it for years and it still works beautifully but I do treasure it it's see the bubbles that she's created and the fish all the different canes that people create and their imagination is amazing and here's an example just using resin I've created an ornament just using a stamp and some resin on top of polymer clay and see how you can get that shine just by adding some glitter to it, completely changing the look of this item. So it's just a beautiful ornament that you can hang anytime. And here is my most favorite piece from Tanya Bakanova. I think I said her name wrong, but I'll put the link to her shop on Etsy. She has created me this little doll that looks like my dog. It is the most precious thing I have ever seen in my life. It, is she even knitted the little hat and she created the body out of fabric and colored it but the head is all polymer clay so there's lots of really cool things you can do with polymer clay and all you need to do is look at other artists to inspire you i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you try to use polymer clay because it's really fun thanks for watching